By now you have probably heard the word that Maui is opened, but Lahaina is closed. But we can tell people are a little wary about booking a trip. Will they be welcomed? Will they just be in the way? Is this the right time to come to Maui for a vacation? Those are good questions. So we're sharing what to expect when planning a trip to Maui and then when you're here and also how to support local because we're on Maui right now. We're finishing up a week long vacation where we explored central Maui, north Maui, up country, east Maui and of course south Maui. And we got a lot of great stories and tips for you to plan a vacation. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. And this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. Let's just jump right into the first tip, and that is where to stay. There are so many great vacation rentals, hotels, and resorts from Ma'alaya to Wailea. Yeah. That is the most popular place to stay right now. Wailea has those amazing luxury resorts. They were quiet before. They're super quiet right now. They're just great places to stay, great beaches, yeah. and wonderful places to just like hang out and chill out, relax. Kihei, Kihei's got vacation rentals for you. Tons. Tons of vacation rentals to choose from. Pick a place that sounds right for you and book it. We also spent one night in Hana, which is always very special. It's such a nice, lovely place over there, so quiet. It was wonderful. Now, Napili, Kapalua, that area in West Maui is expected to open around October 8th. Earlier or later, we'll have to see what happens on that. But right now, book that trip to South Maui. So if you're looking for a place to stay in South Maui, we have a where to stay section on our website, thehawaiivacationguide.com slash stay, that will help you check out some reviews, see some places, and decide if you want to book something. Number two, what to expect while you're here. It's probably the biggest question we get asked, right? Now the vibe is it feels like a Maui vacation that we've always taken. Yeah. The sun is out, the beach is there, a lot of things are open right now. Everyone's very welcoming. There's a great aloha spirit on the island and it's just great. It's yeah. nice to come, right? I mean, we know about the devastation over on West Maui and that is on top of mind for people. Right. So Obviously, the island has been through a lot of devastation and people all over the island are grieving, but people are still welcoming you with aloha. They want aloha back. So come with some compassion for what the island has been through and some excitement to help support the small businesses that do need some support right now. So that leads us into number three is supporting local. I gotta admit, it's pretty easy to do here on Maui. If you wanna run a business well, like run a tour operation, a restaurant, whatever it is, it's best to be on island to do that. So when you're here, like, you know, rent from a local rental car place, like Kimo's or Kihei Rent-A-Car. You know, go out on a local tour, go to a local restaurant, some great hole in the wall ones, the fine dining all around the island. There is so many great ways to support local that it's obviously not hard to do. Just get out of that hotel or that resort and enjoy yourself on the island. Grab some shave ice. We have a whole video up there on supporting local on Maui if you need a little extra help on what to do out there. Yeah. We have the six S's. If you need some ideas because we did a lot of supporting local, that's our favorite thing to do. Number four, when you get here, things to do on Maui. You can either have a beach vacation or an adventure vacation. That's why we always recommend coming to Maui, especially if it's your first time to Hawaii. It's wonderful to go out. You can go up to Haleakala for sunrise or sunset, or just during the day for hiking it is one of the best national parks in America. It's great. We just did a road to Hana. It was awesome. We stayed the night in Hana. The kids absolutely loved it. We got our Jeep from Kihei Rent-A-Car and we just had a blast out there. And also, Upcountry, farm tours. You know, that's our favorite. If you've been watching our channel for a while or if you read our website, we love farm tours. Farm tours are up and running and ready to welcome you. Which leads us right in number five. One of the best things to do is tours and activities. Yeah. You don't have to do a tour when you come to Maui. No. It's great for snorkeling from the shore, but I gotta admit, it's nice to get out there on a boat, get out in that beautiful water, go swimming with turtles. They'll tell you how to do it safely. I mean, that's why you go with a tour, right? You have these professional guides, they're local, they talk story with you, they take you to the best spots. I mean, it's just a wonderful way to go out. We went out with Kai Kanani out to Molokini Crater. Yeah. It's one of our favorite ones to go to. They beach load from Maluaka. Went out with Maui Sailing Canoe. He's a local native Hawaiian. Him and his family run the sailing canoe from Polo Beach. It was- it's Pretty cool. It was epic, yeah. right? The kids yeah. got to see sea turtles. We got yeah. to go swimming with them. It was wonderful. If you do road to Hana, do a local guided tour, right? They know what to do. They know how to hide the stops. They take the stress out of it. Our favorite one is Valley Owl Excursions. We got 10% off down below. Yeah. They were a huge help 
during West Maui's recovery. Right after it, they were using their shuttle vans to you know, ferry people and ferry supplies back and forth. That's just great. When you go out with these tour guides, they, they all contributed in some way yes. during the disaster and, and they continue to contribute today. Mm -hmm. They have special programs going on. It's, it's just wonderful to go out with these tour guides. So support the tour guides and the tour operators who are supporting the local Maui community. And whale season's coming up on Maui. December is the start of whale season. A lot of tours will be going out from Ma'alaya and from Kihei area. Like, wow. I mean, Maui's the best for whale watching. Eric always looks at the whale counts. I so do. that is a real fact. The most whales come to Maui. Oh, absolutely. Blows it out of the water. Easy. <laughs> no matter when you come to Hawaii, right? Yeah. Now or later, one of our favorite things we recommend is to learn the history while you're here, learn that culture, learn why this place is the Aloha State, right? So some great things to do on Maui is the Maui Ocean Center. It's wonderful. Oh, yeah. uh, the, the aquarium. Yeah. I mean, there's a tiger shark there one time we visited. It was, it was pretty sweet. All right, here's a new one we found too at uh, this trip. With South Maui Gardens right in Kihei, they have a hula show. Yes. And it's like a stripped down luau. You can grab your own food and drinks from the food trucks right there. And it's just amazing dancing and singing. Spectacular was the word I used after the evening. It was, it was, it was, it was really was well great. done. Other ways, like just go out on Outrigger Canoe, go to Upcountry, like Erica said, hit up a farm tour. Just whatever really gets you out there in the community, you're gonna learn something. Yeah. And that's where the best memories are that you're gonna come back with. Yeah. You're gonna love it. We should probably have this one higher up on the list. Yeah. Is, is price, right? Supply and demand. Right now, because demand is low right now, people coming here, yeah. Supply is readily available. There's tons yes. of supply out there. So prices have come down dramatically. You'll find that with airlines and rental cars. Great airline prices come to Maui right now. You know, check those budget carriers like Southwest, Hawaiian, Alaska Airlines. Even United's really low right now to the islands. And then when you get here, check out those rental car prices. Yeah. It's like we've seen people book for like $35 a day. The best price is what we look for is like now in September until Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is usually when it picks up again, but you can still find some really good deals out there. Yes. And I assume those deals will probably go on for a little while longer too. Yeah. For example, Mao used to get 7,000 visitors a day. Right now they're getting about 3,000 visitors a day. So you see those rental cars sitting out at the airport collecting dust right now. So you can find some good deals. And so we know it's not the main reason you want to come here. You want to support that local economy, but you can find some good prices while you're shopping. And if you're finding good prices and saving money on airfare and a rental car, you can use that money you save to do an awesome tour and eat at the food trucks and just really support the businesses here. There you go. For hotels, hotel prices really haven't come down. No, they sure haven't. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're staying high, unfortunately. See what you can find out there. We'll see what happens in the future. Deals might go down. All right, in the last one, people ask us this all the time, is volunteering when you come here. There are so many ways to support Maui. And to be honest, we've heard this multiple times, the best way to support Maui is to come. Yeah. That is the best way to do it. If you want to do extra, you can donate, you can volunteer your time. We have an article down below with over eight volunteer sign-up opportunities for people on vacation. Yeah. We kind of picked the best ones. Eric and I did it on this trip, yeah. and we got a lot out of it. It was really nice. You can also bring supplies. A lot of people like to fill a suitcase full of things and then come back with souvenirs. Look at Maui Food Bank. They got drop-off locations around the island, and they're always looking for different things. So check their website. We'll have a link down below to that. Like right now, they're looking for school supplies. As the holidays come, I'm sure they'll be looking for toys, clothing, things like that. Yeah. So anyways, like we said, we heard this on so many tours, is the best way to support Maui is to visit. And, and that's the main takeaway with this video. And visit with some empathy and compassion for what is going on and bring your aloha spirit and you will be met with that right back. I thought it was really interesting. Like I love listening to KPOA 93.5. They've been around for 39 years. They play all Hawaiian music. But it's nice to listen to the local radio station to get a feel of what's going on, on the island and the outpouring of love and donations and support. You'll hear that through the radio and, and you'll just get in that feeling of aloha while you're here. So come out here. Uh, enjoy it. Enjoy it. We had a great time. I hope you do too.